Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some more regular expression practice. So we want a regular expression for strings with no more than three A's in the language. So I'm going to highlight what's important. So no more and then three A's and the language is going to be A, B, and C. So the string is going to be made up of A's, B's, and C's. Any combination of A's, B's, and C's. So we want no more than three A's. So the string could be A, A, A. And whatever's in the middle of the A's does not matter. Like it could be anything. So we just have to uh, design the regular expression kind of to meet this requirement. If you remember, like um, last video, I kind of showed that one plus zero closure is a combination of all ones and zeros. So we're kind of we're kind of going to be doing the same thing. So we're going to do B plus C closure. It's going to be the combination of all B's and C's. And these B's and C's, all these combinations, they're going to correspond to right here. Because we could have any combinations of B's and C's, but we could only have three A's. And we can only have no more than three A's. So that kind of changes it up a little bit. So this right here would actually work because that's no more than three A's. But first we're going to design it for just three A's. So we could say A or empty string. So this means that this could be an A or it could be empty string which would be nothing. So we're going to have three of these. I'm going to copy and paste them. So it just means A or empty string. Okay, and then we'll kind of, kind of, I'll kind of color code it. So this will correspond to these up here. That corresponds to these. If we did only, if we did three A's, that wouldn't work because it's no more than three A's. No more than three A's means like two A's or just one A. So it could be three A's. If it's empty string, you just think about it as them being crossed off. And then here in the middle, like we don't care what's in the middle. It could be B's and C's. So we don't care. So we could say B plus C closure. That's that's a combination of all B's and C's or just empty or just an empty string. And then so we'll kind of copy this. First let's move it a little bit. And then we'll just paste it. And then that's pretty much it for the regular expression. Oh, did not mean to do that. And then I'll kind of highlight it so it kind of matches. We'll go with purple. So these right here are going to correspond to the empty boxes up here. Like it doesn't matter what we get as long as it's no more than three A's. The regular expression is going to be like valid. So this is going to be the regular expression. Let me unhighlight everything so you can kind of see it. So yeah, this is going to be the regular expression for for strings with no more than three A's. Let's move on to the next one. So this one's a little different. This is going to be a regular expression for every string that has an even number of zeros. So let's kind of highlight what's important. So even number of zeros, in this case the language is going to be 1 and 0, so it's just going to be composed of 1s and zeros. So if we think about it, the even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6. So 2 is even, or a 0 is even. So what we can do, even number of zeros could just be empty string. So let's actually start designing it. So we know we want either two zeros or no zeros. We could accomplish this by using having two zeros like this and then by having closure because that means zero or more. But we, it didn't say we want the zeros to be right next to each other because we have it like this the zeros will always be right next to each other so it'll be one zero zero like that. That That is an even number of zeros but we don't want them next to each other. So what we want to do, say we could put out like a 1, closure, 0, 1, closure, 0, and then a 1, closure. 
Remember, closure or the little star means zero or more. So, say this string, for example, would be accepted because there's two zeros, and then the little star, it represents zero or more. So, in this case, let me highlight. This one right here could technically take care of these. So, that's what closure means. It means zero or more. And then we could just have a one out here, and then a one out here, and that would be the regular expression because it could be just be two zeros, and that would be covered inside because the ones could just be nothing because it's zero or more, and then the zeros could just be by themselves. Or we could have, like you said, one oops, that's highlighted, one zero one zero. That would be that would be covered. This one. It would just be zero. This zero would cover this one. This one right here, remember closure means one or more, zero or more. So that could be used for this one. And the zero, that would go away because it could be zero or more, that would go away, and that would give us that string. Hopefully I'm explaining this decently. We could have one, 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 zero, zero. So all these ones could be covered by this one outside. The zeros could be covered by the ones inside here. You remember this means zero or more. So they could be zero of them. So they could just be canceled, canceled, canceled. And then that will just give us our zeros. But say we want to add ones on the, on the outside. Those ones could be handled by this because it's zero or more and it could just be more of them. But if we want to add more zeros here. Say we want to add another zero here. That wouldn't work because it wouldn't be even number of zeros. So yeah, that's about it. Let me actually remove all the junk I wrote in the regular expression. So you guys can see it. And then hopefully this helped in any way because I kind of struggled when I was doing these. So yeah. Remove all the highlighting, and that's going to be the regular expression for strings that have an even number of zeros.